I say payload, don't you? <laughs> yeah, senior payload. Basically. <laughs> Just get payload in. Pop! Pop! Holy shit. Oh man, this is this is a thing so far. What do we got now? Splinter, your primary projectile splinter and weaker mini projectiles when destroyed on impact. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, hey, what if your shotgun was a shotgun? We can have drones that assemble. Uh, nice, nice. Or we have a charge shot. I would say shotgun, shotgun. And Just... then go for charge shots. Yeah? Or you could just get blasted. Or you die. Or you just fucking get your ass targeted by orbital lasers. Okay. Well, at least it was practice mode, so we, we've got an idea how that goes now. Okay, there's the button. Oh shit, here comes Bethesda. Um... Oh, I see. I think I had to be shooting the actual laser core things. Ah, uh, yeah, and getting the fuck out of Dodge. harm's way, yeah. Bad warp. Bad warp there. Bad warp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got uh, new mod trees and things like that. Okay, so it's a it's a roguelike. It's not a roguelike. Because you are unlocking things for the future. Well, I, I guess it's still a roguelike because you're not getting them immediately. You're just unlocking more things to use. Mm hmm. Okay, enemy cargo trains now appear along your journey. They can release cargo crates, which. Ooh, probably give you more experience, it looks like. Salvo, a rapidly deployed stockpile of wild heat seeking missiles that accumulate while you're not firing. Hole breaker. Ah, here we go. A sturdy form with boosted penetrating crash damage and improved recovery. We're gonna fuck some stuff up. Yay, I did it. There's velocity. Hey, this will offset the uh, downgrades we got. Mm hmm. So essentially, we're very tanky, and we just have a projectile that just does things for us. Look out for that guy behind oh, you. Yeah, you I saw him. By the way. Oh. Um. Shotgun missiles. How? Let's find out. Shotgun <laughs> missiles! Shotgun missiles! <laughs> Stupid! Yes! Agreed! Can you say ow? Let's build up loads of them. Yeah, because oh, we're. Oh, hello! Uh... Yeah, here comes Bethesda again. Go ahead and warp to this side. <laughs> I I prod you, pop pop pop. Kiss. Vulnerability. Ah. 
trying to say something in central. Oh, look out. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in there. Can help it. Let's uh, regen a little bit if we can. Upgrade? Yeah. Oh, hey, charge missiles. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't no, think not, so. Not at this point. Uh, red fire. Projectile velocity and damage. Yeah, we'll go with that. Also, I think this thing is almost dead, so... Yes! Hey, level ups. <laughs> okay! We keep getting level ups, I can't use them all! Okay, oh yeah, I like this one. Snipe. Yeah, yeah. if your projectiles are far, they just do more damage. Uh, incendiary strike. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. If you live, you burn. I mean, bitch, I can fucking tank a hit like that. Just say it. Upgrades. Yeah, give, give me a sec. No. Okay. Deadly wake, maybe. More payload. More payload. Or your weapon calibrates when you're not firing. Oh yeah, that's because we don't fire. Yep. Maximum hole. Oh, I see. Fuck you! I mean, I'll just chop half of it down. That's what this hole's made for. I know, but I just like, I, just the, the swift piercing just going right through, just junk. He's fucking Gurren Lagan up in this bitch. Juggernaut. Ah. 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 Uh. <laughs> uh. Hi. Oh, oh, you you like poking too, huh? I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I see what he has. Yes, the spikies on on the front of him, kind of dead giveaway. Thankfully, not dead. Yet. Yeah, oh, that was a bit of. Fuck a... you! I got better. I keep getting re rolls. I keep forgetting I have re rolls because everything is so good each time. Absorption plus three plating reduces hole damage taken by a flat value, providing protection against rapid light damage. Hmm. Seems very good for a tank build. What is mm -hmm. the other one? Uh, force armor, more damage resistance. Ah. Ah. I see. Running speed, motherfucker. God, it hurts them so much. And so they're lasers. That hurts you so much. Yeah, no, they they got they got some lasers on that, but hey, regen, thankfully.
What does this do? I don't fucking know, it dies! Monster, monster. So, uh... Already got a pretty good verdict that I I'm loving the shit out of this game. Ramming speed... Plus <laughs> missiles that contain missiles is a good combo. <laughs> If you don't oh. fucking yeet the missiles all off screen in one go. No, like seriously. Okay, so Nova Drift. Immediately good positive reception on this. Holy shit. Yeah. Cause there are so many different builds you can fuck with in this too. Um Okay. I would say leave the burning trail. Yeah, yeah. Because we're finding shit that works great for us. Oh, this is wave 60 already, okay. Yeah. Alright, ramming you know, speed not great on this guy. Whoops. Ramming speed right into glowy death I might to not see... be the best idea. I wanted to see if I could bink off of him. Oh, you binked. Yeah. And then he binked back. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Where's Ness and YZ starstorming in the wrong game? Uh, uh. Just curious what this does to the boss. Ah, so did he fire that or did that just kind of happen? I think that just kind of happened. Right. Oh, we got a challenge mode. Mod tree, kinetic boost. Oh. I see. Actually, I think he's doing because his uh, swirlies are going crazy right now. Hmm. But, uh. Oh, he does. Sook. Pretty much. Sook. Okay. <laughs> Shadow! Hey! Thank you for the host! And welcome! Welcome to this wonderful, wonderful game. Nova Drift. A fantastic roguelike, and uh, let me pop, let's see, it's Nova in the chat. Or we have a link down below the stream. There's a little write-up and a link to their Steam page if you want to check this out. Ta-da. I'm gonna I go think I'm actually gonna no oh. drift to my kitchen and make myself some dinner. I mean, you a hungry boy, so yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, this one specifically for biology setup. Mm hmm. As we were doing the human body at the time. Uh, specifically, this was on bones and the structure of the human anatomy. The bone so, zone. The bone zone, yeah. So, teacher brought wheeled in the um, the skeleton. Um, is the specific name for it? So it's just like the it just a ba basically the skeleton, the the prop. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I'm talking about? It's just it, it's the interactive uh, skeletal setup that I, the scientists have. You mean the uh, oh the the just the fake skeleton that hangs in the room? Yeah, literally yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wheel, the teacher wheels it in, obviously has to go back out on call again, important call going on, leaves it in the middle of the room. So, one of my classmates literally takes the hand, the left hand, yeah, mm -hmm. and puts it into like a, a grasp position with the fingers on it, uh -huh. and, and leaves it hanging around, um, let's say between the legs. Of course. <laughs> so let's just say uh, the bone zone was in effect. <laughs> obviously, obviously, we're cracking up because it, 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 it's perfectly positioned. It, it, spot on for how we done it. I'm not. Surprised. Teacher comes. Teacher comes back in. Is oblivious. <laughs> um, and starts going through the. You know, from like head to toe situation of like, okay, so you got the skull, then you go down to the spine, the ribs, 
um, and everything else in between. And she gets down to the very bottom, and she just stares for a good five seconds of why the hand, why is the hand placed there? Of course. And it's just that subtle nudge of like, okay, we won't be having that. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. Ooh, hey. Uh... So yeah, teacher was a little bit rattled on that one. Oh yeah, we actually have a uh, break now for the thrust. Oh, I bet the teacher had just a fucking grand time with that one, just trying to cover it up. Mm hmm. Probably how is they were amused by it. The clickety clacky cats, my bones. Eh, more guidance. The other, um, the other fun science one was a test of uh, patience, shall we say, for seeing how long we could last without eating something that was given to us. Ah, uh, yeah. And teacher br uh, broke out the bag of j jelly babies. Mm, okay. And gave three to each student. And the, oh, and the ordeal was, because she didn't explain it while she was handing them out, the ordeal was, oh, I need you to basically see if you can last at least a week without eating these to see if, if you if you can be trusted on basically caring for something that's an, uh, an inanimate object. And obviously, because they're literally just handing out jelly babies without explaining, as soon as they're handed out, it's just like, no, 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 I'm gone. Yep. Yeah. Not surprised. Yeah. Which led on to, well, I'm not going to be giving you seconds on that to see if you would actually do the test, because clearly you've already failed. Right. Okay, let's get on in and start shooting these things down again. Um, There was the physics one that we'd done, which was really fun. Because we literally were given a chance to work with like Meccano and stuff. Yep. And because Robot Wars was big at the time, we were actually literally building our own Meccano robots to fight one another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Also, not good is, uh, oof. You blew up, yeah. Yep. The funniest time we'd done that, because um, we built one with a. It was, it was like a plastic saw on the front of it. But we knew that because it was going to be a bit top heavy, mm -hmm. that once the saw started trying to like cut into anything, uh, it would get stuck. Of course. So what they done is they built a little component in the back of the robot that would send out a small robot to attack. Wonderful, as you do. <laughs> and no one expected it. So whilst we're battling, we're like, yeah, okay, the saws got stuck, and my friend pressed gun control button and just like release the little robot and he sees the little skitty robot just come out and oh yeah he's this little tiny dink as he, going, <laughs> as he went up against the other thing and don't fuck all he's just like yeah little tiny robot <laughs> but everybody had a good laugh on I'm sure yeah let's try this one out because we haven't tried this yet Obviously, we're disqualified because you know not meant to have two robots in the in the arena at the same time. Fucking worth it, though. Yeah, definitely worth it. Well, uh, let's uh, get the uh, good old sir. Ah, NASA. <laughs> oh, ha! Huh, that actually tied my high score. Okay. Weak mood. Weak mood. <laughs> Sorry, Link. You don't get first place. Why don't you get a? Mm 
<laughs> All right, so let, let, let's talk about the uh, game a little bit. So presentation-wise, this is quite a clean uh, little package. I mm. haven't seen any, like, horrible graphical glitches or anything like that or anything visually off-putting. Like Nothing that basically slows down the, the, uh, the actual... The frames either when there's too much on screen. Yeah, like it's just a nice, clean, smooth, well-designed package. I love the way this game looks. Like visually we- f- fun as well. You don't mm-hmm. seem like because I know space can be hard to sort of create a background for to keep it continuous with. Yeah. But the fact that they keep throwing like over planets uh, to make it look like you actually are traveling and change the backgrounds and stuff like that too. Yeah. Like. And it does it smoothly. I hardly even notice the background transitions most times. Well, that's it. It's it's not. It, you don't feel stationary. You don't feel like you're just lost in a box. Yeah, it's not just classic asteroids. A black background. It's space. Or oh, here's just a few stars, and it keeps repeating. No, I mean mm-hmm. it's it feels dynamic. It breaks the boundaries of um, bosses as well, where it's a case of oh, each boss must get bigger. It's a case of, no, some of the bosses are going to be bigger and then some of them are going to be, like, really tiny. But tanky or dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it feels more like your classic, uh, you, you know, shoot 'em up type bosses. Of not everything has to be the more grand scale. Just restating what you just said. Mm-hmm. And I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm going to be doing more runs of this, but I'm just taking a moment to, you know, kind of go over it. Um bang for my buck and everything. I don't know how much this is on Steam Lab right now. Let me actually take a look at the store page. What did they say given to you? Yeah, this was off of Keymailer, so uh, this, this is basically you know the uh, demonstration and everything, but I want to see how much this actually costs. Let's see. Uh, Nova Drift. And this is still in early access, too. Weapon Selective was a good chunk as well. Yeah, like the absolute but- variety you get out of this. That's in the option to actually change up your ship as well. It's just like, oh, I mm-hmm. might have started off with like a bad ship setup, or I do need to change this out. Boom, this, gives you that option. Yeah, this isn't working with my build, or it is working with my build. Uh, this is 15 bucks right now on Steam. That ain't mm-hmm. bad for the package you get right now. And with it being a very arcade-style game, 15 bucks is very fair for all the different runs you're going to get. Especially going, okay, how many fucking combinations are there in this game? It's it's a ton. And there's upgrade paths. Every time you choose one of those mods, you're getting a new upgrade path that goes around, along with it. Whether it be your hull, your weapon, even your uh, velocity and stuff like that. And not only that, you're unlocking new trees to go down, new paths to go down with each uh, addition to your pool. So it's constantly evolving, and the fact that it's in early access means you're going to keep getting more and more and more things added as the game goes along. That's value in a game, if you ask me. Uh, so uh, audio, quite enjoyable. You know, it's nothing to write home about, but at the same time, it doesn't need to write. You don't need a overwhelming symphonic grand soundtrack in this. What no, it's going you really for. Don't. What it's going for, it does incredibly well. This The uh, title screen is relaxing and spacey. When the action starts ramping up, the music ramps up, but like I said before, it's focus music. It doesn't detract from your gameplay and make you sit back and say, oh man, I gotta listen to this jam. No, it gets you more intensely uh, invested in the action. It realizes its balances simply because it doesn't want to detract from one set thing over the other. And in this instance, your biggest um, ordeal is going to be gameplay. And if it clashes with the soundtrack of, oh, the gameplay is fun, but the soundtrack's also good and I must listen to it, it's obviously too much overlap because it's just like, well, which one are you going to focus on more? Yep. And that's what, and that's where subtlety kicks in because it's just like, well, no, because the game play is the biggest adaptation here. So music, it doesn't have to be orchestral. It doesn't have to be the the grandeur of everything. Mm-hmm. But at least, like like all like all they said, it has to, um, it's it's fair balance where it has their moments, them strikes, them beats of, oh, you are fighting the game, but I'm not going to be like, oh, this is a panic mode now, or oh, oh, this is where the big bad 
boss comes in and, and they have to have like their own entrance frame. No. It doesn't need to be like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, as far as, okay, we've covered the graphics, the sound, uh, we've covered the gameplay, just the way you can change things up. Uh, it's just all around high production, if you ask me, for an indie team. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I believe uh, it's not just the uh, the indie team. The developers actually put stuff into this too. Like uh, I think they're responsible for the soundtrack. It's uh, I want to say Pixel Jam is the uh, is the uh, publisher. It's gonna say might be on the options. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me back it up if I can. Uh, let's see, ah, credits. Here credits. Yeah. Yeah. So Jeffrey Nielsen. Pixel Jam. Yeah. Published by P Pixel Jam. Jeffrey Nielsen is the uh, you know main guy on it. You got your audio and all that. Yeah, audio and, and sound effects by Meltel's Pro. Yeah. He, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to go Meltel. look at it because I'm like, <laughs> you got me. And Sega, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, and actually, you know, for Kickstarter and stuff like that, uh, not a ton of people for uh, the Kickstarter stuff. I mean, like, you got the, uh, of course, your big backers and stuff like that, and, but it's not a huge list. And also, it's localized into a lot of different languages, too, apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone's favorite credit, and you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, once again, I'll go ahead and put in chat here. Uh, no, uh, you can look at it there, or if it's uh, if it gets scroll off chat, we've got it in all our panels down below the stream. But uh, you can click the link, check it out on Steam if you want to put it on your wish list or actually buy it. For me, I'm gonna go for another run. <laughs> Cause man, okay, I used to actually quite like Asteroids back in the day, but of course, you know, like like any arcade game, you can only play that so long. Yeah. But I mean, when you take a concept like Asteroids and you just add so much to it, so much life and energy to just keep it going, you're gonna get me hooked. <laughs> Cause I mean, I grew up on arcade stuff. And it actually, that's what, that's what this game has a good hold on. It's the Tetris effect. Being yeah. being very arcadey as well as being pleasant to look at and listen to. Well, the Tetris effect essentially is that instance of how, how many times can you actually keep continuously building and getting Tetris in the game? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. There is no limit. The only limit is when you actually game over yourself because obviously you filled up the screen. Yeah. And this is what's going on for this as well with the Tetris effect. It's that instance of well. Okay, you've reached this peak now, so you have these options to build up your ship into this uh, behemoth. Yeah. And how far can you go with that now? That makes sense. Oh, sure, there's an ending. There's a, I mean, there's always an ending to everything, but it's that continuous situation of it's going to go on for a good chunk. I mean, this thing could be up to level 99, as far as we know, until it starts saying, hey, okay, you finally defeated our last enemy in the game. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Now, he, now here's do. New Game Plus, and now you go to level 100, level 101, and so on, so on, like, oh, okay. Shield effect radius. What kind of shield did I have again? It was like a... I, I don't remember which kind. Uh... Let's go with the volatile tree. Let's actually uh, go down that tree a bit.
Get fucking told! <laughs> oh, let's go for that snipe. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I have too much fun with glass cannon builds. Just flat out. There's no goddamn contest for me. Oh, good. I get to burn things now. Let's see, what was this discharge? Ooh. Hmm. Shield self damage when you fire? Nah. Like, I know I need to take some shield stuff, I'm just not seeing anything I really like. Oh wait, these are laser boys. We don't do laser boys. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I did drones last time. We, we need, uh... Better homing, I guess. Better homing, I or, guess. Or, eh, velocity's gonna take down homing, isn't it? Capability. I guess more better homing. Better homing, I guess. I guess better Oh, hey. Hold. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, last time was amazing too, but holy fuck! Rockets go brrrr. <laughs> 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 oh. It's been incredible, Nintendo Dog. Oh my god, this game is fun. Holy we shit. We discovered that rock turret build is uh, stupid. Very. But in a good way. I think our next DPS gain should be the uh, splintering rockets. Yeah, if I can get it up here. But yeah. I've got rerolls, so why not? See. Calibration would probably work well for us, too. Flat cannon, good. Flat cannon is your friend. So what are those? I see. <laughs> Welcome back, Jar! <laughs> Flat cat! <laughs> this shit's crazy. Nova Drift, I like you. 
You and I are gonna be friends for a while. go I finally got got more rerolls then we got challenge mode unlocked enemy territory starting wave is increased by 12 then new mod tree we got turrets oh, bye have a nice day okay Nah. <laughs> Alright, best uh best wave so far. 82. We, we hit level 24. Man, I'm loving this. Now we can have assault drones. Uh more limit. More drone rate of fire. And further offensive upgrades and formations. Ooh. Oh, you look like a boss. You have the health of a boss. You have a fucking railgun. And you have ramming speed as well. Oh boy, does he ever. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Shields came back just in time. Is some intense boss fight. Thanks, drones. Yeah, no, they carry my ass. Oop, cut. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, battalion formation? Or, I mean, all it is is just lining them up in a certain way. Yeah, and eventually you can have them. Uh, and the fleet swarm you, I think. Yeah. Fleet. Yeah, I do have the have one of those upgrades. Okay, mm. so too spicy for the pepper. Yeah, we'll we'll take it. Okay, now how do I ah? Uh, select formation. There's the formation, okay. Ah! So now I can focus them in a certain direction. Nope. Gotta stay a little, uh, a little ways away from that. Hi. I like this formation. Same. And there we go. Let's have a fleet! <gasps> Plus two! Let's get some more drones, shall we? So what is the fleet formation? Uh, it, no, it's not a formation, it just means I have a plus two limit on drones now. Uh, okay, let's just drone it up. Let's have a little fleet. Boy, do we ever. Point! It dead. Oh, 
Oh boy, we got one of these as just regular enemy now. Nope. I would rather not. I mean, regular enemy with decreased health. Or we're just more powerful enough to deal with it. We... Yeah. With our sacks of war. Yeah, give, give me one sec. Okay, just notifying you because, yep. yeah. Okay. What is the... Wingman. Wingman. Interesting. That's really just, I want to focus. Yeah. Hmm. I think what I'll wait, what I'll do is I'll wait until I can get the other one. What uh, is the middle one? Uh, the middle one is just the other uh, formation. We already got the one on the right, so I don't want that uh, one. Uh, let's go for maximum hull. Yeah. Boy! See, I'm not sure if we've actually wrapped around on the uh, endless level yet. Because I don't know where the game actually ends. Since it's, you know, we can't turn that option off at this time. God, those extra fucking drones are just insane! Can we get more drones? I hope so. Well, we have an upgrade. Ah, here we go. Here's the outmaneuver. Yep. Uh, we'll get that and we can get overpower as our next one. You know, if we survive. Oh, that's a new... Oh. Don't know what it is. Don't like it. Where am I? Where Where am I? Dead. I'm dead. Oh. I think that was... Yep, wave 125. Look at this bullshit. You think you can overwhelm? So can we, motherfucker. <laughs> that was a good last run, though. Look at all our upgrades. Look at all the turret upgrades and damage upgrades. I know. Ah, so now we can get a burn build going on. Ooh. More rerolls. Uh, battery. A bulky slower frame that fires additional projectiles from its broadsides. Gear added to the random body pool. Mm. And then we got Bastion Shield, an arc shaped regenerative physical barrier that stores energy from block damage. Ah. I think that's, uh, that's proper. Look at the score difference. Uh huh. Mm. Nova Drift. Fucking grade A. Love the shit out of this. Yeah. Uh, on other days where I'm just kind of chilling out and stuff like that, you know, maybe uh, might see me playing some Discord calls and stuff like that, or uh, on off days, just if I, uh, if I'm not going to stream Yakuza on a certain day or one of my main games, might see me pull this out. Because it's just that perfect game to say, hey, I want to I fill in a little bit of time with something. I either want to go for a few uh, a run or a few runs, or a lot of runs. It fits different time scales, and it makes it a great, great game for the just any timing, really. Hey, Ultimu here. If you enjoyed that shitstorm of stupid, 
You can subscribe and check us out on Twitch and Twitter, where we also have links to our Discord. As always, don't forget to heal and lucha out.